Part 166 Like the Companion of Yasin During the negotiations at Hudaybiyah, Urwa ibn Masud al-Thakafi was sympathetic to Islam and exerted himself in trying to mediate a truce. Years later, when the Muslim army left Taif after failing to penetrate its walls, Urwa caught up with the Prophet and officially accepted Islam as the Muslim army was returning to Medina. The Prophet encouraged Urwa to emigrate and join the army, but Urwa suggested to the Prophet that he return to his people and spread the message of Islam. The people of Taif were besieged a mere few moments ago, and emotions were still raw. The Prophet said, I fear that that they may kill you if you return a Muslim. Urwa replied, O Messenger of Allah, they love me more than they love their own daughters. If they found me asleep, they would not even wake me up out of respect. Indeed, Urwa enjoyed a position of great prestige. Even the Quraysh recognized him as elite, and the Quran referenced him indirectly. And they, that is, the Quraysh, exclaimed, If only this Quran was revealed to a great man from one of the two cities. Surah 43, verse 31. The two cities were Mecca and Taif and the two men in question were Al-Walid ibn al-Mughira and Urwa ibn Masud. The Prophet eventually agreed, and Urwa returned home and announced his conversion. As the Prophet expected, they emphatically rejected him, hurling curses and insults. Urwa was deflated but ultimately chose to remain. The next morning he rose to pray Fajr. He climbed onto his rooftop, which overlooked the entire city of Taif, and began calling the Azan. As he reached the phrase, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. An arrow struck him from afar and killed him, just as the Prophet warned. As he breathed his last breaths, his family asked him how they should avenge him, to which he said, This is a gift from Allah. He has honored me with martyrdom. So bury me with the martyrs who fought with the messenger of Allah. When the Prophet heard, he said, this man was to his people as the companion of Surah Yasin was to his, referring to the verses. Then from the farthest end of the city a man came rushing. He advised, O oh my people, follow the messengers, follow those who ask no reward of you and are rightly guided. And why should I not worship the one who has originated me, and to whom you will be returned? How could I take besides him other gods whose intercession would not be of any benefit to me, nor could they save me if the most compassionate intended to harm me. Indeed, I would then be clearly astray. I do believe in your Lord, so listen to me. But they killed him, and he was told by the angels, Enter paradise. He said, If only my people knew of how my Lord has forgiven me and made me of the honorable. Surah 36, verses 20 to 27.